Walna, another one in the box. Good one. Let's go! Roof! Come on, Roof! The roof! The roof is on! Who started it? Oh, sorry. I swore I wouldn't do that. It had to happen. <laughs> Let's go. Go, man. Great, great placement. Lovely. Lovely composed ball at the box from Balna there. Roof kills uh, back off well. Lovely finish. Opens the body. Let's go. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video on the channel. We're back to the positive match reviews and just all part of the roller coaster that has been a Rangers fan. Thankfully we're on the right end of that today. So I'm going to start this off as well by saying thank you to everyone that tuned into the live watch along. It's always greatly appreciated for you you that do check it out and hang out in the chat and have a chat about the game as it's going on. So I'm going to literally play maybe a minute or so of clips from that. So if you don't care about watching this live thing, jump forward a minute and then we'll get into my review and thoughts about individuals' performances today. How much of a coincidence, boy, do you think that Walter Smith's turned up and the team's been changed that much? That he's just <laughs> in the game like, right, Stevie, you're listening to me today, pal. <laughs> Walter's walked into the changing room as Gerard's been in the phone to Klopp and he's been like, you, after that, I'm telling you what he did today. <laughs> oh, Ken! Oh, oh, oh my! Oh, oh, what a save, man! What a save, man! My god almighty. That would have been a great goal. Hit it! Good boy. Again. Kent, Again. finish it! Yes! Game over! Kent with the goal he deserves for today. Brilliant, man. Let's go, chat. Come on. Like, why did I just say that? Yes! Why did I say that? Oh my god. I am. I feel. You thought that was Stuart, didn't you? I mean... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I thought it was Stuart and then I seen the number, I was like, oh no! <laughs> I'm just going to pretend like I'm that excited for our field as well. One, shoot! Oh, oh Greg Stuart, Greg Stuart, that's the set up. That's your chance, mate! You made me look like a fud <laughs> Yeah, that was just some of the highlights from the live watch along there. And now we'll get into the actual game itself. And we'll start it off with the team. The goal came with defence, no change, no surprises. So I'm not going to go over that. From midfield to front today is obviously where there was big surprises, changes, depending on what way you look at it. Jack was in. Jack was chosen over Kamara. And it was Davis who came in and said of him. Davis today, I don't think he'd done himself any harm. I think what everyone was missing and what they were wanting from Davis is... I know it's very hard to reverse time, but wanting a younger Stephen Davis back, that hunger, the drive, and I thought he'd done it better today. It wasn't a perfect performance, but I thought the midfield too worked better today, and maybe is it because Jack and Kamara are so, so similar, but I don't know what it was about today. Maybe Davis just allows Jack to be more free, but I thought them two worked a lot better certainly together than Jack and Kamara do. So on paper, your wide players today were Kent and Barker. No one's had an issue with Kent. And for me today, Kent was the man of the match. He's got a goal he deserved. That shot that you seen the highlight of me reacting to earlier was absolutely brilliant. When it was Burke, I believe, was marking him. Turned him inside out twice and unlucky with the shot. It was a decent shot, but a good save there. But I think he was my man of the match today. And he's very clearly shown, unlike Morelos, that a bid from our club has not turned his head. It's very clear to see that Ryan Kent, his focus is Rangers and Rangers only. Barker today... A lot of eyebrows are raised when you've seen him in the team. Quite rightly, I feel like Hadji was dropped for today, but it's just the quality from the bench. Like There wasn't really anyone. That bench today, you had Hadji, who would maybe come on and impact the game going forward, but it looked a pretty weak bench today, especially with Mo No Morelos, who looks like he's going to be sold now. The reason he wasn't playing today is because him and Gerard have been talking and they've just both agreed that he's not in the right headspace to be playing. He's just totally turned by the Leo situation, so I totally agree with him not playing today. And dare I say, it didn't really look like we missed him. But back on to Barker today, and to be honest, a lot of critics were kind of proved wrong. I know it is only one game and it needs to be consistent, but... I've got to hold my hands up and say, I was actually pretty impressed by Brandon Barker today. I thought he was comfortable on the ball, creating a few chances from us. The pace is good to see from helping create attacks as well. When I actually think he'll be on the team next week again. The two new boys had a massive chance to impress today, Etten and Roof. And it started off with Roof kind of playing a little bit deeper, Etten being the main striker. But they were quite interchanging and it's quite the thing with their attack. Like everyone just kind of gets a free roam. Like you've got your main position, but... Pretty much the four attacking players for us always chop and change and interchange just to make it harder to be picked up and marked and hopefully try and create more spaces. But Itton today wasn't not impressed by him, but he had a couple of little half chances. The one that sticks out in my head is the half volley he had inside the box that he blazed over the bar. 
like, I can see what the big man's going to offer us, but of course, coming from the Swiss League to here, we can't be too harsh too quickly because he's also going to need a bit of settling in time, but just an average performance from him today. But Roof, I thought, was slightly better. You can see what he's going to offer us. A Morelos type, the way he drops deep, links up play, does that well. Glad that he's got his goal. Hopefully that will raise his confidence and... I almost just wanted to say raise the roof there, but yeah, we're going to hear enough of that in the future to come, but quite impressed by Roof. I think you're going to be seeing the two of them, but like I was touching on earlier about the bench, if Roof and Itten are both going to be starting, we're definitely going to need to strengthen that bench, especially for attacking options. One thing about the team changing so much today, and something that really pleased me to see, was the way different ways we were attacking today. Not the usual perfection style play that we always go for, which of course we had a bit of that today, but we weren't scared to ping a ball in from a, like a deep cross, we were going for long shots today, long shots as well, like how often is it like, I was joking in my live watch along, like we had two long shots in the first 15 minutes and I was like, oh my god, that's our two long shots out the way for this month because you just rarely see it, but it's obviously being encouraged like the midfielders, Barker and Kent were having quite a few long shots today. It's good to see because not every long shot, of course, is going to fly right into the postage stamp, but it can create anything, a deflection, the keeper fumbling it out for corners. It just creates chaos and doesn't make our attack so predictable. So I was really pleased to see the different variations of attack today. I worked on the defence as well today, and well, the defence this season generally, and it was a record broken today, it was, let me read this here, it was, beats the post-war record since 19, that stood since 1949, and then it equals our all-time record of best league starts defensively to a season since 1929 pre-war. So, arguably, our Goldson, Holanda, Bolna and Tav, like Tav, Goldson, they've all had a lot of stick in the past for defensive abilities, but arguably, are they Rangers' best defenders ever? Now, as much as that is an impressive record, of course there is better defenders that have been in the club, all miles better defenders than Goldson and Tav that have been there in the past, but it speaks a lot about this current squad. Maybe it is the possession, the style of play, that we're conceding less goals, or maybe they're just the oppositions have weakened since back then, but it's amazing regardless. Like Getting these clean sheets, that's what it's all about. Like The saying is, like, defences win leagues when attacks win games. And if our defence continues to play like this with big Balogun so that we come back in, I'm all for it. Big credit needs to go to the defence. I know I did speak about the attack earlier on in the video, but just my final point for this one here is that half time today compared to half time in the Livingston game, the players gave us a reason, like a reason to believe that we're going to come out and score in that second half, which we eventually did. It was pleasing to see the intensity was high, we were getting our shots on target, creating differently rather than just the same old routine that we're used to seeing, the perfection goal. Like at Livingston at half time at no no. I think a lot of people agree, you were going, I just don't know where I can see this goal come from today, but of course it was still nerves today, because this current Rangers team gives you blooming PTSD with the results that it's had in the past couple of years, but there was a reason to believe, and we were quite right to believe that the goals would come in a second half today. So that's all that we're going to talk about in today's video, hope you've enjoyed this one, leave a like if you haven't already, and subscribe as we're on that way to that 5,000 subscriber mark, but be interested to know your thoughts down in the comments below. Will this starting eleven continue to hold their place? Like, of course, you've still got a Rebo to come back in. Will Hadji sit on the bench right now? All that stuff, put that down in the comments below. But once again, I want to thank everyone for watching the videos, and we'll catch you in the next one.